Hey. <laughs> Shamika Charles is the lowest of the low because she holds the Guinness World Record for limbo dancing. I've practiced for around six hours a day for around four years. The committed 22-year-old limbo queen can get down to eight and a half inches from the floor, less than the height of a beer bottle. I began my limbo career at the age of 14. I saw that I had a really unique talent for it, so that's when I just, my Uncle Bob, who's my limbo trainer, decided, hey, maybe she could actually set the world's record. Shamika's been limboing around the USA ever since, and makes her living performing at NBA halftime shows. While much of her success comes from hard work, the unusual talent runs in the family. Shamika's mum, Sherry, was a limbo dancer for 16 years. I can limbo probably around three feet, you know, which is nowhere as close as, you know, as low as Shamika goes. Shamika does get her limbo ability from me. Shamika set her world record in 2010, and it's yet to be beaten. When Shamika broke the record, I was really, really proud of her. I was happy. I was like, yes, she did it. She worked hard. And today she's attempting another world first by limboing under a car. I'm very, very nervous about this. It does take a lot of concentration, a lot of balance, a lot of breath control, persistence. I must say I'm proud of myself today. I can't believe that. So I want to do it again. As always, Shamika's proud Uncle Bob, who's also her trainer, is keeping a close eye on her progress. That's an incredible feat right there. There's nobody else in the world I know could do that. It's a matter of breathing, it's a matter of timing. It's not just going under a bar. It has a lot more technique to that. And it's not just her family who are impressed. I did not think that was humanly possible to do. The type of reaction that I normally get when people see me limbo, they're like so intrigued by my ability to do what I do is just, is just amazing. They're always so amazed and it makes me feel really good. Even professionals are amazed by her abilities. Her chiropractor, who she sees once a week, says Shamika is the best all-round athlete he's ever seen. How are you? Hey. It's amazing, you know, so when I see you, I have to take into the account of the superhuman freakish strength that you have. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have concerns that the strain could be too much for her body. Shamika can probably carry on like this as long as she keeps herself at the same rate of, of physical training. If she's not careful and, and lets up on her training routine, then she can get a little bit hurt. Shamika's mum, Sherry, had to give up limbo dancing after suffering back injuries, which makes her too worry for her daughter's health. I worry about the same thing happening to Shamika, yes, all the time. Once your back goes out, it's like really painful and it's a really long process. So I just, you know, always be on her case pretty much all the time. But despite knowing the risks, there's no sign of Shamika slowing down. In fact, she's determined to reach new lows. If limbo dancing affected my health, would I stop limbo dancing? I don't think so. I also want to set a couple more records um, as far as backwards limbo and I also want to do the furthest distance in the limbo position. 